Hello, peeps. I'm whispering because I'm in a med spa. So I'm here to get Botox today. It's not my first time. I've been getting it for like maybe two years. I will need to look at my channel for reference. I've gotten it done before and recorded it, but it's been a while. So I wanted to show you guys the process, what it looks like day by day, and when you can see results. Here is the starting point. So my sister Toto, Courtney, is going to be doing it. And this is what we are starting with. Basically at stage zero, it's like I never had it done before. I don't even know when the last time I had it was. February or March. So it's been five or six months. This is right pre-injection. So I'm now going to show the actual process of getting the Botox. It does not hurt at all. It feels like a slight pinch, but I just want to warn you guys that if you don't like needles, you might want to fast forward a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys the entire process. First, she starts with marking out with a white pencil. I don't know, it comes off easily, where she's going to be actually putting the Botox just to make sure, you know, it's in the right spot. Would you like to show the people the needle? Why do they want to see that? You never know. Is it clear? I don't know. Literally, that was a failed attempt at just trying to show you how small the needle is. It does not go in far at all and it's super skinny. I never liked shots. Actually, I used to like throw fits over them, but I can get Botox. So if I can get Botox, you can get Botox. So I'm just going to fast forward over the whole process of her giving me the Botox, but basically I got 56 units in my forehead, quote unquote, crow's feet, and in between my eyebrows, 56 is, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit of a lot, but for some reason my forehead, like in between my eyebrows, is just super active, and I feel like I take more Botox than the normal person my age, so I don't know, just speculating, but this is Courtney giving me the Botox. All my makeup gone. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wow. Gorge. Mm -hmm. Hello. So it's currently the 23rd. It's a day after getting Botox. You're not going to see anything, any difference really a day after getting Botox. So I just want to show you guys every day. This is what I'm looking like. It looks the same when I raise my eyebrows, but then when I do this, I don't know what the deal is. This muscle is like a lot stronger than this one. I have like a minor twitch on this side. I don't know, it's a powerful eyebrow muscle. So I feel like it takes longer to kick it on this side. So I'm looking a little lopsided, but hey, I don't make that face often. And then when I smile, I still have crow's feet, but she did very minimal on my eyes. I didn't want a lot there because to be honest, it doesn't really bother me. So this is what we're looking like. Day one. Also, my lip, you're probably like, what the, <laughs> what happened there? So I got my lips dissolved as well. When I went yesterday, my sister, she just wants to use a different product in my lips. So we're going to dissolve and then restart the process. I'll record that as well. So that's why I have a bruise. Beautiful. Day one is what we're looking like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, day two after Botox and this is what we are looking like. So I'm still a little uneven. I feel like I'm moving a little bit less on this side, but still uneven. And the most notable change for today is my crow's feet. I feel like there is significant less creasing as hard as I try. Other than that, nothing groundbreaking. I think I'm going to check in with you guys again once I actually see some significant changes. Like I said before, it takes a bit to kick in, but you'll see subtle changes in the meantime while you progress. See you guys next time. Hello, it has been like 10 days since I got my Botox and here is what we're looking at. I know it's been a minute, but you know, it's like watching paint drive showing my face every single day. But I think I might put in a little clip because I have been recording my face every day for my sister, for her Instagram. So I'll put a little clip of the progression for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> but here's my update. Here's what I'm looking like. So a little bit up. She might need to put a little bit more Botox in the corners of my brows. I don't know why the muscles are just so strong. <laughs> and then this eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> still moves. So with that being said, I might need to go for a touch up. It's been 10 days, so it could technically not be set in yet, but yeah. And then I smile. It looks fine. I don't look crazy though. Cause like when I'm, unless I make these faces, you can't really tell, but luckily it's an easy fix if it does need to be fixed. So I think it's mostly set in, but we're going to give it a little bit more time and I'll see you guys the next update. Update.
Uh, so last time I saw you, my eyebrows were going up a little bit more than I wanted. Since then, about 10 days ago, Courtney put two more units, literally one unit on each side of my eyebrows to fix that. And now I think they look perfect. So just know if you need to get a little bit of a touch up, it's not a biggie, but here's what my final fotch is looking like. As you see, I still have more movement on this side of my face. I just have a strong left side of my face. I have a twitch, a lot of movement, and it's harder to get rid of, but I don't think it's noticeable at all. And I do like having a little bit of movement after getting Botox, just so I'm not just stoic and frozen. So I am happy with what I'm looking like. So yeah, that was it guys. It's been about two and a half, maybe three weeks since I've got it done. And you can't really tell. I don't look any different unless I try to make some expressions. My face doesn't move as much. I just wanted to show you guys the honest experience, how it progresses, but this is what we're looking like. Also, the walls are different behind me. My parents painted the basement white. I am moving out in three days. Me and Matt will be in our new house and then my parents are selling this house next week. So a lot's going on. I will be posting about my new house on this channel if you wanna see that. But uh, yeah, also sorry this video was late. There has been a lot going on. Like I said, today is currently the 14th of September and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get this up before like two weeks from now just because of moving and everything. So I apologize and this is the end of the video, but I apologize. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in two Wednesdays. Peace out, bye haters, peace.